Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on integrating beautifully handcrafted SVG icons within our Django applications. Now I just want to go through uh, a little bit here on the icons and the styling and the categories that you can go through. So if we head on over of course to the following website here so heroicons.com if we were to scroll down here we can see the various different kinds of icons that are available to us and believe you me there are a lot of icons here in terms of the variety as well so of course um, you should see that all of your needs should be satisfied here with all of the icons that are available to you now an interesting thing that i also want to mention here is the categories so if i scroll right to the top we have outline we also have solid we have mini and we have micro. So as you can see there, by clicking on these different categories here, our icons are going to have a different sort of style towards them. So as we can see, micro is of course going to be quite small. Mini, of course, is going to be um, small as well, but not as small as micro. Or solid here, we're going to see has some coloring um, mainly within the icons and outline of course is not going to have any solid color within it so you can see there is a variety and a similarity between um, each of these categories in terms of what they have in place so you can experiment and search for an icon that you prefer now we're going to easily learn how to integrate this within our django applications so we're going to go ahead and make use of the hero icons package so that we can utilize it in our django and jinja templates so let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing, of course, that you need, like always, is you need to make sure that you have a Django application to which you want to apply this to. So I already have my application here set and ready to go. I also have it open up in Visual Studio Code as well in my IDE. So make sure you've got that all prepared and ready. So let's go on ahead now and get started with the process. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to install the Hero Icons package. So what we can do is go ahead and copy that go to our terminal and you just want to go ahead and say pip install hero icons All right so i have already installed it previously so make sure that you've installed that package within your application next we can scroll down and we just want to follow the steps here so i'll just zoom in here so we've already installed it so here icons have been installed now we can add it to our list of installed apps so here are icons let's uh, copy that and we can head on over to our application settings.py file so i'm going to go straight there so i'm going to go to my project which is known as crm to my settings.py file and what you can do here in your list of installed apps you can go ahead and just add that in so here i'm just going to add in hero icons right here so make sure you've added that to your list of installed apps here in your settings.py file for your django project Perfect. Now all we need to do is we need to head on over to a template that we have in our application. So make sure that you have a template for your application that you're running. So we can now close our settings.py file, go to our explorer. And what you want to do is here in your directory, you want to go ahead and open a template that you have. So in my app here called web app, in my templates directory, here are all my templates. So I'm going to apply this to my index.html template, which I have right here. And I'm going to add in icons here on this page. So that's going to refer to my index.html file. So here I am. So make sure you are on a template that you want to utilize this for. And the next thing that you want to do is according to the steps here, you want to load hero icons. So we can go ahead and copy the following. And what we can do is we can just add it in like furrows to say load hero icons. And do keep in mind there is an alternative way to make use of this uh, library is you can go on ahead and add um, the hero icons template tags hero icons um, line of code in your templates list here as you can see which will be in your settings.py file. So you can also add it in there as well. It's really up to you how you want to do it. Um, this may be an easier solution for some of you. Uh, for others, you may just want to load it in the template that you want to actually use the, the icons for. So you can decide how you want to integrate it. All right. 
Now, as we can see here, this library is going to give us the option to render these SVG icons in the following state. So here are icon micro, mini, outline, and solid. So we already took a look here at the differences between these. So we can see solid is going to be a darker color. Of course, mini and micro is just going to be smaller sizes of the solid category. An outline will be very distinctive. It doesn't have any um, dark coloring in place with it. So just keep that in mind. And it can also take in various arguments such as the name, which is of course going to be focused on the positional here. So the name of the icon to use. Um, then of course with sizing, we're going to have our keyword in place, any number of keywords which we can uh, define by our data attributes. And of course there are additional attributes which uh, of course can be added such as the stroke line cap, stroke line join, vector effect. So of course this is going to pertain to what we want to outline to be and the stroke for the particular icon at hand. Of course there's a lot to customize and look into. Now. We're just going to have a look here at an example for an outline academic cap icon. Now, if we go to hero icons, we can see we have an academic cap here. So here is a sample of it. And of course we can see the solid version, the mini and the micro version. So let's see how we can integrate this academic cap here on the outline. So if we go straight here, all we need to do is we just need to copy the following line of code here. And of course it says hero icon outline underscore icon and then academic cap in double quotes is the name of the actual icon that you want to use. So what I'm going to do is copy the following and I'm going to head on over to my index.html file and I'm just going to paste it right here. Okay. And this is just going to be in a div here and we can see I have a line of code in my H5 tag that says welcome to the best website ever. Now, of course, if I head on to my project, I can see that's where that, um, um, content is being displayed and right above it is going to be an icon. So make sure you have that in place. And what I'm going to do is just run my Django server and say pricemanage.py run server. And refresh. And there we go. We can now see we have our icon here in place. Now, just to make sure we don't have any issues, I'm just going to clear the cache just to make sure there isn't any issues that you may run into. So if you're in Google Chrome, you can just go to your settings icon here. You can scroll down to more tools. Then you can go to developer tools, click on that. And then you want to right click here on the refresh icon, empty cache on hard reload. And then for clarity, right click again and say hard reload. And close. All right, there we go. Just to make sure we don't have issues. But anyway, we can see we've got our icon here in place. Now let's say you want to change this. Let's say you want the icon to be a little bit different. So if we look here at what we have, we have solid, mini, and micro. Now, if we look here in the steps here in the documentation, we have, we are using hero icon underscore outline. Now, if we look up, if we scroll up here, we have various options. We have micro, mini, and solid as well that we can add. So all you need to do is you need to change the second value here. So instead of outline, you can sw swap it for mini, micro, or solid. So if we go back, we can see here, we can just switch this out for solid, for example. We can save that. Let's go back and let's refresh. And there we have solid. We also can see we have mini and micro. So let's look at um, a mini and then micro. So all we need to do is switch this out for mini. And there we can see we have mini now. Let's set this to micro. Save, refresh, and then we have micro. If we wanted to reset it back to outline, all we need to do is switch this back to outline. And refresh, and there we have it. Okay, so there we go. We've got that icon there in place. So that's how we can go ahead and add in our icons to our Django application. Now let's go ahead and experiment a little bit more. Let's say, for example, you have a button on your website, for example, that says create your account, and you want to, um, implement an icon in this button, for example. So let's take a look at the button that we have here. So if I go back and here, I just have a button here. Of course, it has some um, bootstrap alongside it. So it's button primary. 
And of course, it's a link here to the registration page and the text here in the A text. So the important thing to note is if you're using, for example, uh, a link button of sorts, okay, and you have an A tag, all the text I have in here says create your account. That's all it says. Let's say I want to add an icon in between there. So the first thing I want to do is look for a suitable icon. So creating your account. So if we go to hero icons, we can maybe search for something relevant. So we can maybe type in accounts, for example. And that's going to give us a few options. So user circle, user minus, user plus, and user. So what I'm going to use is user plus. So remember, all we need to do is copy that text here of the name of the icon we want to use. Head on back to index.html. And what you want to do is you want to go on ahead then and use this hero icon outline. You can copy the following that we have here. And what you want to do is you just want to add it in after this text here that says create your account or whatever uh, text you have within your a tag you can just paste that line of code in and then what i'd always recommend you do is between your text and of course the icon here what you want to do is you just want to add in uh, at nbsp and a colon so this means non-breaking space so it adds in a space between the text and the icon Okay, so now we just want to, of course, uh, let me just copy that again, user dash plus, and we can add it in here. So excuse me, there we have it, save that. Now what you can do is go back to your project, uh, reload, and there we go. We can now see we have a nice icon here next to create your account. So that's how you can go ahead and also add in these icons to, for example, your button or to any sort of how can I say elements that you're using in HTML, for example, and CSS within your Django application. So that's how you can easily add in these icons. And you can see there is a huge variety um, in terms of icons that you can choose from as you look through everything. Now, there's a few more things I just want to show you, but of course, that is the main concept. And you can see how easy it is just to add in those icons. So let's continue. Right. Now we can also see, we can also alter the size. So as you can see here, we have our academic cap example, which we're going to be working with here again. You can also go ahead and alter the size here and also set up the class as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the following. So I want to copy that and let's go back and let's go to our outline. And here within this outline, we want to add in the following attributes here to change the size and the class that we have. So let's uh, save and refresh and we can see now our icon now is a lot bigger than it was before. So that's how you can also go on ahead and adjust the sizing as you so desire. Now again what you can also do is set up the stroke widths okay and also set up the data controller. Now of course with the stroke widths we can see if we go to our icons we can see the stroke that is set in place which is 1.5 pixels for the stroke according to the following outline sizing. Now what we can do is we can set our stroke to a preference. So we can go ahead and copy the following. And what I'm going to do is just remove what we have here with the size for now. And let's just add in that stroke. There we go, we can see we have a little bit of a different style in place here with the stroke for that particular icon that we have set up. Right, so that is the core functionality here of adding in icons to your Django application. Now you can also utilize this with Ginger templates as well. So if you have, if you are utilizing Ginger templates in your Django application, you can see here, you can also go on ahead and integrate it that way. And there's also examples provided here for you to go ahead and integrate that as well within your application in place. All right, all right guys, so that's it. That's it for this video tutorial. That's how you can go ahead and add in these very um, nice handcraft SVG icons to your Django application. So it's very helpful. Um, uh, working on the user interface of your application is never a waste of your time. Um, everyone always wants something that's functional and also clean and pleasant to look at. So it's a very important thing to look into when you're building your applications. All right, guys, so that's it for this video tutorial. As always, thank you for the support, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.